because when I said that, if you don't accept our proposal to you, you would be provoking people. You would be provoking people. I said so. But no one who wants to be <clears throat> undermined by people who are supposed to be helping. Where must they go? And somebody said Zuma is causing a problem. Not at all. Because people, even if you look at whatever else, democracy, protesting, doing everything around that is constitutional. Because if you provoke people, they're going to protest. They're going to, they're going to do everything in seeing that things are done correctly. But many of you, or some of you, I shouldn't say that, some of you, so much is, is provoking violence. Is that violence to protest? Why do you run and say so much provoking uh, problems or which will lead to violence? I don't like this. You know, I was arrested and I voluntarily went to prison. And people decided to say this is wrong and they were correct. Because I was being taken to prison when I had no case. And the, 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 those who are in power, instead of dealing with the situation, they actually provoked it by sending the army of police to come and pick up one old man. <laughs> the whole arm from all over. And we didn't say anything. In fact, I was in prison, maybe. I didn't read any article from those who are writing to say this is wrong. I think we should correct ourselves if we want our democracy to be a real democracy. You must play your role as we play our role. I'm saying all of this because we are so many here. <clears throat> we are likely to get more criticisms than understanding what you are saying. Because of reasons not known by men, by anyone. <clears throat> I have a right as an old man to deal with you. <laughs> okay, I, I just wanted to make this point because we are reaching a point in South Africa that can take us just beyond what we need. If we, because all of us, the media included, we have a right to ensure that to stop wrong things in this country so that this country becomes a peaceful country. <laughs> we are together as the parties that <clears throat> are making the complaints. And bear in mind, and it's not again, it's the first thing you see since the freedom that political parties come together dissatisfied by how those who are given jobs to do have done it. That in itself must tell you there is something serious. We can't poo-poo it and begin and believe that there's no problem because we are going to be quiet. No. Let us see the votes properly. We've got many stories about votes. Some banned. You don't, you don't even need to listen what the people love to say. There must be a repeat. No. There must be an elections. <laughs> Not any other thing. No IC must dictate on us. They count us. They count our votes. They are paid for that yes. out of our money. Yes. We cannot just be 
put aside, don't worry, then we don't accept this. Why? If we said to all of us, we don't accept the accounting, what will that be? We must respect one another. Yes. If one peace in this country. We all want peace. But you can't say one peace and provoke violence. Yeah. Because we're making people angry. Yes. Why do you do so? When you're given a job to help. And then, uh, you know, I must stop now because I'm going to say something so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I